So today we are going to study a new exercise which is based on the value of polynomial. What do you mean by a value of polynomial? Children, this is a very easy exercise. As you can see in the front of you in the practice set 3.4, we have the first question which says for x is equal to 0, find the value of x square minus 5x plus 5. So we have to find out the value of this polynomial. Okay, the polynomial is what? x square minus 5x plus 5. So if you want to find out the value of this polynomial, you just have to put x is equal to 0 means wherever x is there in the polynomial in place of x you have to put uh, 0 there and whatever answer you get that is the answer only this much you have to do you just have to substitute the value of x okay in place of x you are going to put 0 because you have given 0 in the question so let us see how we are going to do the first step is we will write down the polynomial how do we write down the polynomial you know we write down so we write down it like this px small p yeah? small p uh, in the bracket x why because we have the variable x in this equation if we have m here we will write down p of m if we have y here we will write down p of y so p of x is equal to x square minus 5x plus 5 now what are we supposed to find out x is equal to 0 so what we will do is here we will write down p 0 ok and then we are going to substitute the value of in place of x we are going to write down 0 so 0 square minus 5 into 0 plus 5 wherever there was x we wrote 0 so now therefore p of 0 is going to be square of 0 is 0 then 5 into 0 anything multiplied by 0 is 0 plus 5 so the answer is 5 therefore we say p of 0 is equal to 5 only this much okay let us in the next question we have been told to find out p of 3 root 2 if you see the question is this is a given polynomial and find p of 3 root 2 ok so what we have to do is in place of y we have to substitute 3 root 2 so first step is I write down the given equation and then in the next step I am going to substitute the values so here in place of y I am going to write down 3 root 2 so let me write down also here also in this y, in place of this y, I will write down 3 root 2. So, let us see how will it look. So, this is how I substitute in place of y, I wrote 3 root 2. This square is written like this. Then this minus sign, then this 3 root 2 and 3 root 2. In the place of this y, I have written 3 root 2 plus 1. Okay. So, I have substituted in 3 root 2 in place of y and everything else is as it is. Now, how will we solve this? Now, 3 root 2 square and what will it be in the first we will take 3 and we will write down the square of 3 the square of 3 is 9 ok and the square root square of root 2 is 2 always remember children if you have root 2 into root 2 answer will be 2 if you have root 5 into root 5 answer will be 5 if you have root 7 into root 7 answer will be 7 ok so similar here root 2 into root 2 gives you now we are minus 3 3 is a 9 and root 2 into root 2 again will give you 2 plus 1 okay so 9 2 is a 18 minus 9 2 is a 18 plus 1 now 18 minus 18 is what children okay you can do 18 plus 1 according to the rule okay 18 uh, podmas rule says that you have to add first and then divide so according to the podmas rule we will add first so first number we write as it is we write down the addition part first 18 plus 1 and this goes behind minus so 18 plus 1 is what 19 minus 18 which gives us 1 so this is your answer so p of 3 root 2 is equal to 1 now next one in the next question it is being given that p of m ok the polynomial m ok it is m cube plus 2 on m square minus m plus 10 then p plus a and p minus a is what so we have to first find out what is p of a then we will also find out what is p of minus a and then we will add both of them ok so let us start first of all we will write down the our given equation our given polynomial so let me write that this is my given polynomial pm is equal to m cube plus 2m square minus m plus 10 
Okay, so now I have been told to find out P of A plus P of minus A. So first I'll find out what is P of A. How will I find out P of A instead of M? I'll put the value of A. So in this equation, wherever M is there, what will come there? A. So that's how we are going to get P of A. So P of A is equal to, in place of M I'll put A plus 2 a square. Okay, everything remains same. This 2 is same, square is same. Only in place of m we write down a. Plus 10. Okay. So now p of a will be cube of a will be a cube plus 2. Square of a will be a square. Yes. Minus a plus 10. Okay, we cannot solve this further. We will stop here. Now, we will see what is P of minus A. Okay, so now in place of M, we will have to put P of minus A. Okay, so now in place of M, I am putting A minus A. So here, this will be minus A cube plus 2 minus A square because in place of M, now we are putting minus A minus minus a plus 10 okay now how do we solve this children so for this now p of a is equal to cube of a negative number is always negative number i'll tell you why see minus a into minus a into minus a a do into a will be a cube correct and minus into minus will be plus, plus into minus will be minus. So in short, always remember that when this power is odd number like 3, 5, 7, 1, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, or 11, 13, 15, 17, 8, all these negative uh, odd powers no, will always give you same number. But if you have even powers like a square, a raised to 4, a raised to 6, a raised to 8, then that time the negative becomes positive. So right now it will remain the same because it is the odd number. Okay, now plus. Now see here, right? the power is positive, uh, sorry, even number. So minus into minus a will be only a square. Why? Okay, now this square is not for 2. This square is for this bracket. So I write down 2 here and this square is for this bracket and who is there inside the bracket? A. So a square. Also, since it is an even power, this will become a square. This negative goes out because minus into minus will become plus. Now, here, minus into minus becomes plus a plus 10. Okay. Now, we have to add these two. We have been asked, no, p of a, p of a plus p of minus a. Yes, we have been told to find out p of a plus p of minus a. So, we will take this p of a and we will take this p of a minus a and we'll add both of them okay so let us do that so when we add we'll get this cp of a is a cube plus 2 a square minus a plus 10 which we have written here and p of minus a is this which we have written here now we'll open the brackets since there is plus sign the signs in the second bracket will not change so let us open the brackets now what all things you can see here, see, since there was plus sign, this sign remained as it is, this sign remained as it is, this one and this one. Okay, now, let us solve this. How are we going to solve? Now, a cube. Do I have any a cube here? No, we don't have any a cube. Yes, can you find it out anywhere? Oh, we forgot to put it here. Okay, so a cube. I'm so sorry. Here, a cube of a was minus a was a minus a cube. Okay, so this a cube and minus a cube will get cancelled. Yes, because a minus a cube minus a cube will be 0. So this will go. Also, 2a plus 2a square plus 2a square. Can I cancel these? No, because they are having same signs. When the signs are opposite, you can cancel. Minus a plus a. Yes, I can cancel these. And plus 10 plus 10. And can I cancel those? No. So what are left? We will write down whatever is left. 2a square plus 10 plus 2a square plus 10. Okay. So when we add, now we will bring all the like terms together. So I will write down 2a square plus 2a square together and 10 plus 10 together. Okay. 
So 2a square plus 2a square is 4a square plus 20. 4a square 2 plus 2 is 4 and 10 plus 10 is 20. So this is how we get our answer. So P, a, P of a plus P of minus a is this. I hope you all have understood this. Now let us move towards the last question. Now in the next question we have been told to find out P of 2. The polynomial is given. So in place of y I have to put 2. So first step I wrote was I wrote the polynomial P of y and then find P of 2. So in place of y I have written 2. So and how I will substitute is just c. In 2 and 2 is like the same. Now y in place of y I have written 2. This cube is as it is minus. 6 is there. Y square. In place of y we are putting 2 the square is there minus 5 in place of 5 we have 2 and plus 7 now how will you solve this 2 into cube of 2 2 into 2 into 2 will be 8 minus 6 into what is the square of 2 the square of 2 is 4 minus 5 twos are 10 plus 7 so 8 twos are 16 minus 6 fours are 24 minus 10 plus 7 okay so now how do you solve this children always you know board mass rule says that whenever you have addition subtraction multiplication and division so first you always prefer first of all you will do division then multiplication then addition and then the subtraction so here we have only addition and subtraction so whenever you have addition and subtraction the first thing that you do is addition for that what you do is you write down the first number as it is and you write down this plus 7 here because it is having addition and these two minus 24 goes behind and this minus 10 also goes behind so 16 plus 7 will be 23 minus 24 minus 10 okay now 23 minus 4 24 so how much will be this 23 minus 24 be children minus 1 there is a difference of 1 between them and the bigger number is having minus sign so minus 1 and this is minus 10 and now minus into minus will be plus 1 plus 10 will be 11 and sign of a bigger number so minus 11 so this is how we solve the fourth sum thank you